guys have to excuse Patricia. She's kind of uh, in the ICU right now. I don't know what's going on with her. I transplanted her because I thought maybe she was like root bound. She's a mess. She's not doing well. So, pardon her and her flowing locks. She looks crazy back there. But it's a good spot for her right now. Oh, I got a new tent. <laughs> And I bought this tank top at Zara thinking it was going to be like this long. And it's like really short. I think I need to put higher waisted jeans on. Oh well. Maybe I'll just button. Should we do a button? No, that looks grandma. This is one of my creations. This was just like a little tiny sprig. Actually two of them. So she's been going for about maybe like two years. She's doing good though. This is not a plant video. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. All right, let us begin. So we are gathered here today for a good old fashioned get ready with me. I think I'm gonna use these Fenty drops. I'm still debating if I like them. Blurring skin tint, shade nine. I have this new Ofra. <laughs> I've had this for like three months. Uh, this Perfect Cover Concealer. I don't think I've ever tried it, so we're gonna try it. I also have this Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tint and Moisturizer. Maybe, maybe we should, oh, you know what? We can try this. It's a little dark, but I'm a little tan. Shade Medium. I think we're gonna use that instead. So I have nothing on my face. Do I want to use a primer? I don't think so. Oh, this has SPF 25. Ultra lightweight tint and moisturizer infused with primer. That's amazing. So it lasts all day, primes, moisturizes, perfects, and protects all in one step. Okay, we're gonna use this. We're just gonna start. This has been too dark, that's why I haven't tried it yet. Oh. I'm gonna use my 122 for Makeup Forever. I just washed it. This brush, ah, oh, so good. Mmm. Color's good. When I'm tan. Oh wait, this looks kind of nice. My grays are really graying today, so excuse them. I get my hair done in like two days. I'll do like one side. I gotta cover those grays. Wow. That looks kind of good. Might be a little bit dark. Make sure we blend it into that hairline because it it is a little bit dark. <laughs> my neck is so pale. I'll just put a little bit on my neck. something in this braid is pinching like a hair. Ow! Ow! Get out of there. How did you wind up in there, ma'am? Oh my god, I'm sweating so bad. I need something to fan myself with. A Starbucks gift card. Are you kidding me? No! I didn't even finish blending that. This is so dark, you guys. Wait, wait, there's no way, there's no way. This is so too dark. 
Maybe I can fix it with concealer. It's passing. Okay, I'm gonna use the lighter shade to try to lighten my face up. Light warm beige. Oh God, this looks thick. Oh. This looks like it's gonna be dry as hell. Oh shit, <laughs> this is not looking great, you guys. Things are not looking promising here. Okay, wait, that actually doesn't look bad. You just gotta lighten things up here. Like everywhere. I thought it was gonna be like really dry. It actually looks kind of good. really pretty. I'm going to take honey, which is here. You can see the difference. This is honey. I'm going to use that on my blemishes. Good, good. Do, 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 do. Oh. This is too light. Oh well, a little bit more on my nose. It's not as full coverage as I thought it was gonna be. I do not mind it. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'll do my lids. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder on the lid. And then my MAC 24 hour extend. Just a little bit. Right over top of the powder. And then more Laura Mercier powder to finish. It works. Gonna do a little sandwich. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Huh. Uh, it's definitely not my best work but it's not my worst. I'm going to go cover my grays. I'll be right back. It's a little bit better. Okay. Now for the love of my life. I know it's a $60 powder. I'm sorry. The one I have is number one. I really wish I would have gotten like the warmer one. I'm going to order it though. I love this powder. I love it so much. So you just get a little bit of everything, but on your face, it's just translucent. It is the best powder that I think I've ever used. What is going on here? Oh good, a zit is coming. We're gonna see how this concealer works over powder. Hmm, not bad. I know it looks a little like deathly at first, but it will 
it will calm down. And then a little fix plus. Perfect. Yeah, I, um, I hate to tell you guys that I love this powder because it's so expensive. It's good. Okay, we're gonna do a quick brow. So I used to start out with my brow freeze. Now I start out with my brow whiz. And then I go in with the brow freeze. I tend to just use the brow whiz like on the bottom part and a little bit on my tail on my left brow because it's like very sparse. And then I go in with the brow freeze. It's been working, so we're gonna stick with it. They're definitely not sistering today. Okay, we're gonna let them sit for a little. So I have this new Love Face Palette from Natasha. I will tell you that this cream blush, I hate the color on me. It's pretty, but on me, not great. I love the highlighter though. I will, I think I'm just gonna use these two shades, this in my crease, this on my lid. We're gonna keep it simple. All right. So taking a little bit of Giddy, just a little bit in the crease. How did I get glitter on my eye already? Oh, this color is so pretty. Can you see? Yeah. That's really pretty. Oh, that was a lot. Taking that same color on my lower lash line. What do we think of the concealer? I, well, I already put powder under there, but I probably could have put a second layer on. It's kind of light. Which I'm good with. I don't mind that. Okay, Affinity on the lid. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like it's just going to get... I feel like it's going to get everywhere. Don't fall. Well, it's kind of sheer. I probably should have put a little base on. It's more of like a topper. It's really pretty though. And we got some fallout. Oh. We got some fallout, kids. Oh, crap. We got fallout everywhere. Shit. A Starbucks gift card coming in clutch because I'm going to I'm going to hide my my under eyes from the eyeshadow. <laughs> this is a very um, high tech method only used by makeup artists. <laughs> We're gonna have to put a little bit of concealer on, just a little bit. to try to hide the fallout. I mean, it sits pretty well on top of powder, I must say. I'm just gonna take a little of my Pat McGrath um, Sublime powder, a little bit. Just to kinda Set that area. A 
a little bit of nude liner. This is a MAC one that was discontinued, but any nude liner will work. Time for mascara. I like to heat it with a lighter, but wait a little. Let it cool. I'm using Bad Gal Bang Waterproof from Benefit. It's pretty much the only mascara that I use. Can you guys tell me your favorite waterproof mascara? I need a new one. What should I try? Oh, I feel a heat flash coming on. Are you guys following the Vanderpump? All that stuff that happened, I love it. I mean, I don't love that for Ariana, but I love Vanderpump. So, quite interesting. He's, ew, gross. Ariana will be so better off without him. She's bisexy, so she needs to find herself a hot woman. Go girl. In the past, like, what, year? I've fully realized that I am a thousand percent bisexy. Definitely, like, if Tony were to leave my ass, or, God forbid, pass away, I would never be with another man. I definitely would not. just not what I want. Tony's the only man I like. If he's not an option, we are switching teams. I'm just going to take a little bit of NARS Climax Extreme just to give him a little bit of like boom. Boom, baby. I need to go to Sephora. I want to get some new makeup. Okay, I'm going to finish my brows quickly, probably jack them up. Oh, this pen is like dead. It's the NYX um, Lift and Snatch. I really need to go to Ulta and get a new one. This is doing nothing. It's, it's dead. Uh, maybe a little. Okay, I'm going to use my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. <laughs> it's cream. Did it again. Oh, well. Just a little because we're already looking a little orange. Just a little. Like, I'm going to Target. <laughs> I don't do like a straight line when I contour. I wouldn't even really call it contouring. It's just like a little bit of bronzer being thrown on there. But I like to do more of like a, a circle almost. I don't know. When I do a straight line, it looks way too harsh on me because I already have very strong features so I'm trying to like soften things but just like add a little bit of a shadow so I I don't do it the way most other people do it okay for blush I'm gonna use hope from rare There's a hair. Get on. Soften it up. 
I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of this Persona Caramel blush. Just a little bit, just to kind of set it. And I'm gonna use the highlighter from the Love Palette. Am I gonna regret this? I'm just keeping it like right in this area and then I'll show you. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Luminous Light uh, and kinda put that over just to like soften it up a little. I'm gonna put a little of the Natasha one right here. A little bit on my brow bone. A little bit on my inner corner. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh my god, that looks so pretty on the inner corner. <gasps> oh. Woo! Okay, keeping with the whole Natasha trend, I'm going to use the I Need a Nude lip liner, which is amazing. I'm also going to use the I Need a Nude, or no, this is the My Dream lipstick in Natasha. So good. I love this lip gloss. Here, I'll swatch it. It's so freaking good. If you're a nudie pink lip gloss lover, I would say this one is worth the money. The formula is divine. Okay, Kosas, Kosas Airbrow, pretty much empty. Okay, Charlotte Setting Spray, my favorite. All right, so what do we think? Sorry about my mirror. I mean, I think that skin tint looks pretty good. Um, the color is throwing me off because it's a little bit too dark. But the formula looks good. And I really like this freaking concealer. Perfect cover. It looks really good. Like, my under eyes look so good. But there's like not much coverage. I probably could have even done like another layer. Look at that. There's like nothing to it, but my under eyes look really good. Everything else, nothing was new. I mean, this was the Love Palette, which is really, really pretty. I just hate this blush color on me. Highlighter's very pretty. And the eyeshadows are good from what I've used. I've used these three. Like, I used this one as a liner the other day. Not a problem. It's good. And the packaging is so thin and good. Oh, and the Givenchy powder. Love of my life. I've been working out my arms, but like, this still needs to go. Like, oh, oh my god, she getting a little ripped. Um, I don't think I have anything else for you. I'm gonna go tend to Patricia. Okay, bye. Love you. I wanted to wear this lip and I forgot. This is so pretty. It's L'Oreal, hold up. L'Oreal Lip Color Rouge something. The shade is Blissful Blush. I have to swatch it for you. It's so freaking pretty. 
the formula is it feels like a gel, like serum-y, amazing, comfortable, delicious, go buy it. You have to go buy it. I love, I, I freaking love. Settle down. They get the point. You love it. I love. I love it. Goodbye. I'm hungry. Oh, Patricia, you have me stressed, queen. Look at her. She is, oh my god. She is not. Oh my god, I feel like I'm having a huge flash. No comments from the gallery, thank you. Oh my god, you're old! <laughs> wait, no. Okay, well, um... Okay, wait, this looks a little dark. That little clip did me dirty. What is happening? Hmm. Patricia, girl, come on, come around. Summer's coming, you're gonna be thriving. Pull it together. Whew, I'm sweating. Why my brow hair's gotta be so thick? Thick like my booty. Now I'm cold and hungry. Do not look at me. <laughs> Don't look at my body. Like, what is the cutoff? Because someone the other day told Tara that she's too old to go out and dance. Um, where is that written? I would like to know. And what is the cutoff age? Like, is it 40? Is it 50? Is it 32? Like, what is the cutoff age where it's like, you're too old, you can't wear ripped jeans, you can't go out and dance, you can't drink. Tattoos? Absolutely not. You have to be 27 or under. I just want to know where these rules are because some of y'all, not y'all, but some of y'all, really be playing. Like, bitch, I will be 70 with my cane. Well, I won't have a cane at 70, I hope. When I'm 80 with my cane, I will still be, like, going out dancing and getting tattoos, so. Stop it. Stop it. Huh. Y'all can't stop.